Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give glory to the almighty Jehovah. Beloved, he has given us a breath. So this morning, around the whole world, let us pray and thank our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all your glory and honor. It is by your might, it is by your power that your children are still alive. You are the owner of life. So Father, we thank you for another day for your children around the whole world. Oh, we magnify your name. We adore your name. You are a faithful father. Take all your glory as you share your glory with no man. So Father, we thank you. This morning is another day you have given us a breath. So we appreciate it. It is by your power and your might. With you, all things are possible. You have given us a word and let your word come forth. Spirit of the living God, this is an empty vessel that you may use so that your word will come forth. And also your children around the world, around the world will hear your word. Thank you, our savior. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Ancient of Days, for giving us a word. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray. I also take an opportunity by your power, by your might, to greet the listeners of Prophet Kanewu. You are also welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, he has given us a word. And our Lord is so good. Our Lord is so mighty. The title of the message is, we go to the book of Luke 13. The title of the message, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. What is the kingdom of God like? That is the title. What is the kingdom of God like? And to what shall I compare it? It is like a master seed, which a man took and put in his garden and he grew and became large, a tree and the bed of all air nestle its branches. This is God, Jehovah, the ancient of days, is asking you and I that this is a question, that what is the kingdom of God like? He knows the way, he knows the answer. So beloved, let us see what our God is saying. It is like a master seed. That is the answer. He asked the question, and the answer is in Luke 19. He said it. It is like a master seed, which a man took and put in the garden. So beloved, in Christ, we all know that we need our Lord Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God, that is heaven. It is a place where no sorrow cannot live. And it is a place also no filterness can enter. Hallelujah. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in your heart, and in my heart, as our eyes is upon him, about his kingdom of 
heaven. So we need to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Where our hearts and our eyes are upon, each and every one pray that they will be with the Lord. But there is something you have to do. That's why he is asking. What is the kingdom of God like? The, the place where you are trying to go, the heavens, you have to work about that place. It isn't easy to go to that place. You have to prepare yourself and to be with him. Oh, beloved. A master seed are tiny and it's tree that will grow and become large, a tree. And every bed of the air, they are after it. And what are the eight fruits? Let us go. We will see the fruit that God Almighty is talking about. Let us go to the fruit that God is talking about. It's Galatians 5. And the verse is 22. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. The fruit that we have to bear are in Galatians 5, 22. Let's hear the word. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Beloved, these are the fruits we have to bear. So the kingdom of God, where you and I is trying to go, we have to bear all this fruit and also righteousness and holiness must be in us. Hallelujah. Beloved, we continue that in Luke, we go back to the book of Luke 13 and the verse is 20. Let us hear. Luke 13, 20 says, and again, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, to what shall I like the kingdom of God? Christ is asking us again. So beloved, we have to know about his kingdom. It is in heaven, a place that every soul wants to be. As it is goodness and its glory in a seed that if we plant it well, we will see the glory of God. I swear you and I are trying to go, which is in heaven, there is no sorrow. Sorrow can never be there. And also joy does not die in heaven. And our hearts and our eyes has to be on Christ as the world will be under our feet. Hallelujah. Oh, what a mighty God. The God who knows us. The one who is coming back to take his saint to the place that he said he has gone to prepare for you and I. Beloved, we are still reading. We continue with the scriptures. Let us go to Colossians 3, 2. Let us hear the word of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on this earth. Beloved, this is by Paul. He is telling us that we have to set our eyes upon the things in heaven because things on this earth they are temporary. They will rust. 
And as the owner is coming, everything will be metal. So beloved, it is you and I to know about our mindset on things in heaven. Our focus must be on our Lord Jesus Christ only. By setting our mind about our mind about heaven, the place where the godly, those who are, who knows their God, the godly man will have his best thing to come. But the wicked man shall have all his waste to come as the way will be different. Yes, on that day, when the trumpet sound, he will come for his elect. But the wicked will stand on his left hand, which are the goat. He mentioned it in the Bible. And the righteous will be on her right hand. So, beloved, there will be difference. All the way will never be the same. So let us be aware so that we can be with him, so that we will do whatever God is telling us about his kingdom. Oh, he said, I am going to prepare a place for you. And where I am, I will come back and take you. This is John 14, 3. Our God is so good. So beloved, it is a choice. Where do you want to go? Eternity. Oh, the kingdom of God or satanic kingdom. It is about time we change the mind. Our mindset has to be on God. Only him can save you and I. Hallelujah. Beloved, we continue. In Psalm 145, let us see what one, Psalm 145 is saying. Oh, what a mighty God. And I read Psalm 145 and the verse is 13. Let us hear the word of God. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your domain endures through all generation. Beloved, the kingdom of God is everlasting. That means when we be with the Lord, it's everlasting. Everlasting joy is that every soul need. And his kingdom is domain. He rules. Oh, he's a mighty God. The unchangeable God. His kingship is forever and forever. As we know, so many kings on this earth has come and gone, and where are they? But the kingdom of God, that is everlasting to everlasting God. This is what every soul need to be with the maker, the one who created you and I. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is everlasting endure from generation to generation with a garment being pure that you can be in the kingdom of God. Now the wicked, the night that has no light, it does not arise. So beloved in Christ, we have to pray and surrender our life unto our Lord God, as he is, who watches us every night, every day, and also our heart. We should give it to him and give him the keys of our heart, our Lord Jesus Christ. God love a broken heart, not a divided heart. Our dear person is not is fit of the subject for the devil to work upon. 
Beloved, those who are lazy, those who have neglected their savior, that means you have given yourself to the camp of the enemy and there is nothing good there. Oh, hallelujah. Beloved, we continue. He is a mighty God. He is a good God. We give him all his glory. I want to minister a song to almighty God. And the song goes like this. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Angels bow before him, having a sad on you. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven has adored you. What a mighty God we serve. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, is Lord, is Lord. He has risen from the dead, he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, the word has come forth. The word of our Lord Jesus Christ has come. So it is a choice to choose it to hear it or to reject it as our Lord's word. In Matthew 24, 35, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will, will by no means pass away. Beloved, it is his way that has come. We give God all the glory and honor for his way that has come forth. We appreciate our God. This morning, I pray to almighty God that he will protect his end time prophet, bless him, and also give him long life and also with their family that they will be blessed. May God Almighty bless his viewers that listen to Prophet Kenew. May their heart desire be granted unto them in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen.